Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fill blank doodle alphabet sets with patterns. I'm going to be using five different softwares. I'll show you how to fill these letters in Photopea, Affinity Designer, Illustrator, Silhouette, and Cricut. So let's get started. <music> Okay, I'm going to start with Photo P. This is one I recently just discovered and it has a lot of great features and it's perfect for filling letters. So you will go to New Project and I like to make it 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels and 300 pixels per inch with a transparent background. And click Create and that gives you your artboard. And now we're going to go to File, oops, not that file this file. File and open in place. And I'm going to select my doodle letters. I'm going to grab the outline and the solid PNG file. And that puts them both on your artboard. And then you're going to go back to file and open in place. And I'm going to grab a digital paper and place it in the artboard. And then adjust the size of this one. Okay, you're going to place the pattern on top of the letter. Make sure it's on top of the solid letter. And then you're going to right click and select clipping mask. And that will create the clipping mask on your letter. You can adjust it by just dragging, clicking on it and dragging it. And then to complete your doodle letter, you will grab the outline and place it on top. We'll have to move the layer up. So move your layer above the one you just created. There we go. And there you go. There is a filled doodle letter using photo P. Okay, now we're going to fill the doodle letters using Affinity Designer. So I have I start with a new artboard and then I'm going to go to file and place. And I'm going to select my doodle letter. So I'm going to grab the outline and the solid version. And I'm going to place them on the artboard. And then if you want to resize these, you can just grab both of them and drag down. Okay, now I'm going to go to File and place and grab a digital paper and I'm going to adjust the size of this by dragging the corner till it fits perfectly over the top of the letter. Okay now I'm going to move the background below the solid fill. I'm going to click on the solid filled letter, right click and mask to below. Then I am going to grab the outline and pull it above the letter we just filled and layer them on top of each other. There you go. That's how you fill the doodle letters in Affinity Designer. Now we're going to use Adobe Illustrator to fill the doodle letters. Select File and Open you'll want to select the SVG file, which contains all of the alphabet. So just choose the letter or letters you're wanting to fill and place them on your artboard. For right now, I'm just gonna start with the B because it's already there, it'd be easiest to use. So after you have the letters on here, you're gonna click File and Place, and then you're gonna choose your digital paper or pattern or background, whatever you wanna call it. You can adjust the size by dragging the corner of your digital paper. 
This one is really large, so I'm going to keep shrinking it. Okay, that's too much, so let's enlarge it. Okay, once you have your digital paper on here, right click and arrange, send to back. Then you're going to grab the red part of the letter, the field version, and the background. Right click and make a clipping mask. And that will fill your letter. You can do this for all the letters or you can do it for one letter. You can form a word and then do it just for the whole word. But that is the concept of how you fill the letter with Adobe Illustrator. Okay, now we're going to use Silhouette Studio to fill the doodle letters. I do have the business edition, but I'm pretty sure it would be the same concept using the just basic edition. So we're going to go to File and Merge. And then we're going to start with your digital paper this time and place it on your artboard. This one may take just a few minutes upload my silhouette is a little bit slower than the other editing software programs there we go okay and then you can go ahead and just resize that to fit the artboard if you want okay now we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to file and merge and we are going to grab the solid letter this time the solid PNG letter and we are going to place it on top of the background or the pattern you selected. Okay, and once we have that lined up like you like it, just select both items. And then you're going to come over here to the Modify menu. And you're going to click Crop. And that has filled the solid letter with your pattern. Now to grab the doodle, you just go to File and Merge and grab the doodle outline and then you're going to drag it to where it fits on top of the letter you just filled. Now you may notice there is a red outline around this. That is the cut lines for Silhouette and that wouldn't look very good if you printed it. So to fix this, you're going to Make sure you're clicked on the outline. Make sure that's all I got. And then you are going to go to the line style pattern panel, not pattern. And you are going to select this colorful little stripe here. And just click on the transparent. It will be the white box with the gray stripes. That will make that red outline go away. And now it's ready to print. Okay, last but not least, we are going to fill these doodle letters in Cricut Design Space. So we are going to go to a new project. We're going to upload. Then we have to select our image by clicking, clicking Upload Image. Browse. And let's go ahead and grab the SVG file for the doodle letters. There we go, and click Upload. Now we're going to upload the background, or the pattern, paper, whatever. So I'm going to grab my digital paper. For this one, I'm going to select Complex. Give it a minute, and Apply and Continue. This will go in as a print then cut image, so select that and upload. There we go. Okay, now you're going to just grab the background and the letters and add them to your canvas. Okay, that gives me the, all of this in one piece, let's see. I'm going to have to ungroup. All right. 
Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see what we got going on here. Let's reduce the size of the background by dragging the corner up. I'm going to move that to the side. And Cricut has jumbled up all my letters. I'm just going to select the letter A and then I'm going to delete the rest of these. Maybe I'm going to delete the rest of these. There we go. Okay, that will make it a little easier to see what we're doing. I'm going to enlarge that and we will enlarge the background. Okay, so now we're going to place the background over the solid letter. Make sure it's over the top of the solid filled letter. We're going to select the background and the solid fill letter and then we're going to click slice. Give it just a minute to slice. There we go. Okay, now you can pull the background away and see that your letter has been sliced from it. This also leaves you with the filled letter which you can delete and you can delete this part too. Now you're going to want to drag that below, there we go, below the doodle outline and then place it on top. And there you go. Now you have the filled letter in Cricut. There's also another way you can do this and it is by making a pattern fill. But it doesn't work well for just regular backgrounds unless they are seamless. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the pattern fill feature on Cricut Design Space to fill the letter. Like I said, this works best for seamless patterns. I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, so we're going to go and upload. I already have my letters uploaded and I have the background uploaded, but this time I'm going to upload the background using this pattern fill option right here. So click pattern fill and upload pattern and then browse and find your background. I'm going to use this one this time. Okay, it's a print then cut pattern. Click upload. You could give it a name if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that today. Okay, so this time you will just upload your letters and add them to Canvas. Or just select your letters and add them to your Canvas. Okay, let me zoom out again. I'm still going to ungroup these and delete the letters I, I'm not going to use just so we can see better. Okay, let's make these a little bit larger. There we go. Now for this, you're going to select the solid letter. You're going to go up here where it says basic cut under operation and click print then cut. Then select the color where it says color, select pattern. And this will pull in the patterns. There's some patterns already uploaded that Cricut gives you, but here is the pattern I just uploaded. And see on this pattern why I said seamless is better because I have a line here where the pink started at the edge and then the purple ends. I've got a very harsh line right there, which doesn't look that bad. But if you wanted it to be more fluent, you would want seamless patterns for this. And then you do the same, drag the outline on top and there you go. It's ready for your print and cut projects. And that is how we fill letters, the doodle letters, the blank ones, using Photo P, Affinity Designer, Illustrator, Cricut, and Silhouette.